I think it only goes so far how much you can like on Facebook and then raise awareness about it. Um, at, at some point that's just not enough anymore and then uh, you kind of need to step out into the real world and, and put all the likes that you've given in the past to, to action. Uh, my name is Christopher. Uh, I'm the founder and main responsible for Hacky Future in Copenhagen. Hi, Tech. Hey, hello. Hi, Christopher. It's, it's pretty, I don't know, like exciting for me too, a bit anxiety inducing because. Like I haven't really talked to anyone since yeah. uh, since you started, so looking forward to see what Thomas has to say. I'm really I'm really pretty excited to talk with him and hear what he thinks because that's it's kind of the first person who gives us like a direct feedback. Yeah. So that's that's a bit new. I'm, yeah. I hope I'm not as red as I feel. I'm pretty nervous. Hack Your Future is a, is a coding school uh, for mostly refugees, asylum seekers. We provide a school, a learning environment, but also a community for people to become developers, actually, and to, to enter the job market. There's a lot of potential being spilled if we, if we don't use the, the talent of people that are coming into the country. The good thing about web development is that uh, it's a booming market. Um, companies need developers, they can't fill that need with local talent. You don't need to have a university background necessarily to get into coding. So I think all of these things together really provide a good chance for people to build a very solid career for themselves and a career that also has a future. So thank you for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. And visiting us. Thanks for having me. How would you say it's going so far? It's going well. Fair and enough. it's nice to to working with Ombrago and Sitco, but I yeah. think Ombrago is like much fun than Sitco. Really? Yeah. Better than JavaScript. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like uh, on the first day when yeah. you got here? Well, Hacky Future is originally a, a project that started in Amsterdam, in Holland. I found out about the the program because I knew someone who was working for them, and then thought. That is actually a great idea. There wasn't anyone doing that uh, same thing in, in Denmark yet. I, I looked around for a bit, didn't see anyone else doing anything similar. So then it slowly started to dawn on me that if no one else will, then I kind of have to jump in and, and just do it myself. Before I started the project, I already had a, an opinion about the, the subject of the refugee so-called crisis, but I didn't really know what to do about it. Like, in a way, like I want to get, I wanted to get active, and then other events in the in the world kind of unfolded, and you had the, yeah, like the Brexit and Trump getting elected. I think that that sort of also, it seemed to me like the world was becoming more xenophobic and um, yeah, more isolationist and nationalist and then I mean to me as a German also that's a sentiment that I figured well I, we've have some we've had some bad experiences with so maybe now is a good moment to to get active about it and not stand by you can't really wait for politics um, to change that or wait for the world to miraculously turn around so I think you also have to uh, go to work yourself So yeah, I guess the most most important thing that I wanted to hear today also, which I'm really excited and quite frankly also a bit anxious about to hear is how it went. They're very, very I mean, they're obviously very smart and very hardworking and really want this and, and apply themselves. And uh, there's just something cool about the process of saying, hey, we yeah. have these girls coming in and, mm. and, and they're going to need some help. But, uh, but uh, there's a good reason for it. And it's, uh, it's an interesting project. In the end, what we do becomes a, a huge win-win, or even a win-win-win, if you want, for the refugees who find meaningful employment, can actually apply their skills and build a better lives for themselves, for businesses who are looking for developers who cannot otherwise find it, and also for society as a whole, because integration is best achieved through the workplace, I would say. I mean, the ripple effect of, of getting people into a very, very good middle-class job is tremendous. I mean. It affects the family, it affects the kids, it affects the social circle. So in the end, it's, it's, it really makes a big difference, even if it's only a handful of people. <laughs>